What up, guys? Hello? can hear me. What the fuck? Oh my god, I thought you couldn't hear me. Can you, you can still hear me. Yeah, my mic is activating. Okay. I thought that it was not. We take those. Ooh, Kuroku Dairu. Ah, he won. Let's go. Tino got knocked out round one. He can get back to modding. Good. Oh, where's my camera? There's my camera. I'm like, where the heck did this thing go? What's up, guys? How you doing? What up, Novo? How in What's up, Illuminous? What up, Slim Duncan? How you doing, Saber Dark? What up? What will ride take over? Not until Saturday. I know you Kamel haters are crying in the club right now. Show us this spice. Well, the thing about Pydia is we have to go looking for the spice. In our first game, not the spiciest. We're gonna have Phantom Knights versus Infernoids. Oh. Forbidden Shadow is going to be targeting the Harmadic. That's a crazy effect. You must negate it. Any Exodias? No, bro. Dr. Dinosaur, you're, unless you're playing Exodia. Bro, have y'all seen, have y'all heard that Yuto theme? Ooh, Juninho. Gonna clean this one up very fast. I just realized uh, my scoreboard is not set up. Nice. Why no stream on Twitch? Well, me and Rai are doing a little bit of dividing and conquer this year. So I'm going to be streaming on YouTube and Rai is going to be streaming on Twitch for DLE. And uh, we're just doing this to uh, increase our reach on both the platforms. Bro, I don't know, bro. That Shea theme. That Shea theme goes hard, bro. I'm not going to lie. The Shea theme goes hard. It goes crazy hard, in fact. Mm-hmm. 
Ooh, Dr. Dinosaurial versus Kuroku Dairu. That is a spice match. That is probably the spiciest match of today. I would, I would hope that that is going to be the spiciest match today. I don't know what either of those guys are playing. I can't even, well, I can't know, but I couldn't even guess. It goes too hard, I feel. Yo, Shay's theme goes hard, man. It goes hard, man. Alright, I'm just waiting on Dinosaurio and then we can get into this duel. So, yo, how was you guys' selection box luck, man? What happened? I'm brewing with Dark Rogue Dragon Turbo. Did you know it's searchable with Oja Match? Really? What does Oja Match say? It's, it's searchable? Oh, yeah, it says Arm Dragon, right? So, it, wow. That's interesting, dude. I can't wait. I can't wait for you to get in the lab, bro. Okay. Man said, "Whip out the trickster, Candida. Candida no Koka, Hachido. Candida will add a trickster's blood travel card to my hand and the trickster festival." I activate from my hand, trickster festival. Get a summon two trickster tokens. Bum, 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 bum. Bam 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 na, bam 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 na, bam 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 na. Link Shokan, Link Ni, Adoin Kakuni, Adoreo, Link Shokan. Skill has show three effects off the Crimson Heart. Okay, gonna gain two thousand life. Then they're each gonna draw from Crimson Heart's effect. Right, and that is the Trickstar turn, dude. I mean, that was kind of whack. Uh, no. They don't even have that trap card that activates when they have eight cards. I don't know if that was really the payoff Kuroko Dairo wanted from the first turn. On the other hand, Dr. Dinosaurio gets a goaded for his ham. Destroy into giving Puppet the baby. Gonna summon the Jury Doll from the graveyard. Jury Doll. Is absolutely insane in the grave. You could banish a different given puppet to summon it back, and you're just gonna be able to keep reusing it over and over again. So Terror Baby is gonna bring back the jury doll. Let's see what Dr. Dinosaurio decides to do. They've got an array of options. They got two extra cards to their hand last turn. I think Kuroku Dairu literally just ended their tournament run. That was a really bad turn from from uh, Trickstar. However, don't forget they do have the hand trap, right? So it gains attack equal to its original attack, so Crimson Heart can go up to 4k. And this is not something that can be zombie steined either, because it's not uh, this effect. Or was zombie stein against graveyard effects? No. Let's see, definitely decided here, gonna make a rank 4. Oh, never mind. Linkuni. Arrowhead Kakuni. Link Shokan. I don't want to. Give me Puppet Camera Doll. <clears throat> I'm gonna search a gimmick puppet. Double kite in hand? Is Tree Star a kite word deck? Really? I didn't know that. 
Give it Puppet to Baby, you gotta activate his graveyard effect. Banish it so your opponent cannot activate in response to to gimmick puppet effects. Gear up gear changer, gonna copy the level of the destroy. Ensure that it's level four. Now destroy gonna activate its effect target to give it up and destroy it. Selects the Chimera doll. It's already done its job this turn, I suppose. Why are we on YouTube on Twitch? Me and Rai are dividing and conquering this year, so all of my streams are going to be on YouTube, and all of Rai's streams are going to be on Twitch. It'll help us be more consistent, and, uh, yeah. Three white in hand copium. I mean, I have to assume Crocodile has something, even though now this is pretty much done. Gigantis Doll has resolved, taking control of both the monsters. A rank eight Synchro Shokun, I mean, Exe Shokun coming through here. Number 40. Give me a bit of strings. Bisque doll as well. Junk Puppet! Gonna bring back the Magnet doll from the grave. Oh man, this is busted. Kuroku Dairu, man. I don't know. I mean, their hand has to be busted here. They can only attack with Xyz. Yeah, because of the Gentis doll. The lock. That's why it's making double strings here. For lethal. Alright, let's see what Boom! No hand traps! No hand traps! Oh, but he's got enough life force to survive! Six thousand! He's two hundred off Karoku Daru will actually survive this turn with Trickstar. Ooh. Is the back row from Dr. Dinosaurio good enough to withstand a full Trickstar turn? This is five cards in the hand from Trickstar. They've already used Festival, but they still have its graveyard effect. Corbane in the graveyard, Crimson Heart already used, but it's still present in the field. That is massive. Unfortunately, though, it is in a really weird zone where you're not going to be able to capitalize off of its effect. Candina going to be getting another search here. We're the Onomats brother. I want to see some guy guy head brother. Dude, what's up? But Onomats, I mean, Onomata Pyra, it's just like, it, it's okay, but I don't know if people are going into the selection box for Onomata Pyra, bro. Ooh, Light Arena. Kuroku Dairu, essentially, they have to win this turn or they have to establish monsters on the field there that are going to get over 3,000 beaters. Light Arena. So what does Light Arena do? It's going to target the back row and what? It cannot be activated. All right. Oh, but he's going to chain the Barrage Blast. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Destroy them. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, but Licorice from the hand is going to do what? It's going to send the Candina back? Ooh, okay. It's going to send itself back, so they will actually still get a monster on the field. The Candina was their normal summon, so that was uh, pretty good, despite... I mean, the, considering their monster was definitely going to get popped, but Barrage Splash there... Did not change a whole lot. If Kuroku Dairu still has some extensions, he did lose one monster. It is unoptimal, but he still has, he has the materials to make a Link 3. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Link San. Arohen Kakuni. Link Shokan. Arawareo. 
Drake Star Foxglove Witch. Foxglove Witch the Coke. How's you know? Gonna inflict 100. I'm gonna pay 200. And then if it's Link Summon, you destroy by battle or card effect. You just press summon one Link to or lower Drake Star monster from your extra deck. And that's it. One back room plus Foxglove. That's it. You get Banish's card for your graveyard and one machine exists from your graveyard and flip damage to your opponent equal to its rank times 100. What the. He has no other machine exists in his graveyard. You'd have to put one of these guys away. Okay, Jury Doll coming back. Oh, Needle Sailing! And there's no. Wait! Oh my gosh! They didn't have. They didn't have anything! They didn't have anything to banish to protect from Needle Sailing, and they absolutely lose. However, Barrage Blast is gonna clean it up. Oh my gosh! There was no. There was no winning that from Kuroku Daru, dude. They had the out, but Dinosaurio already had the out to the out. Mm. Very well done, Dr. Dinosaurio. Thank you for playing Kuroku Daru. I hope to see you play Trickstar again. The Dr. Dinosaurio once again on a tear with his... Um, with his... Uh, What deck was he playing? The world may never know. Give me puppets. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, ooh, carrot. We got CGO Skull over here. We can watch this. Barrage Blast for a game, I know, bro. That shit is too strong. Dewey Puppets are actually a good rogue deck. Literally just woke up and saw a man die from burn in 2023. Yeah, I mean, he dealt him... He was gonna, he was about to deal him 800, bro. I mean, 800 is no... 800 damage is no laughing matter, so... You know. That's why Barrage Blast is such a good card, bro. It is such a good card. Is this the year of the daily takeover? Yes, sir. We're trying to branch out, reach more people, and the YouTube streams are part of it. So we appreciate all your support with the YouTube streams. Thank you all. How you doing? I'm doing all right. I just got off work and I'm chilling for right now. The thing I like about main phase is that it's a relatively shorter stream so I can get off work and I can stream for like, uh, you know, two hours, however long the tournament is, and then I can chill out for the rest of the night, make videos or whatever. So yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so it's Synchron versus Goki. Okay. Hello, Kamel. Congrats with your free to play Ice Dragon Prison and Gizmag. Thank you, Playmaker. I appreciate it. Thank you for checking out the video today. I greatly appreciate you. But yeah, man, I'm really glad I was able to get a free-to-play uh, Ice Dragon's Prison. Just because, like, you know, you guys know where, where we come from. We used to wail on every selection box, and 
you know, I don't really have to do that anymore. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. So, Gogies, they get this thing, this combo going where they make it to link three. And then Thunder Olga gives the turn player an extra normal summon while it's on the field. So the idea is you get Thunder Ogre out and you link it off immediately so your opponent cannot get, uh, take advantage of the effect. And then you summon Master Olga. Link for Master Olga. CGO Skull, however, will be ending their turn with no back row and no quick effects. There's going to be no Twist Cobra, no back row, no Octo Stretch either. CGO Skull is literally playing naked with just the Master Ogre on the field. The Master Ogre, it is a powerful card. Don't get me wrong, you know, anything, anytime you just return to the hand, Goki said this card points to, and then you can negate face of cards. So this includes spell or traps activated from the hand, monsters summoned like this Junk Synchron here. This Junk Synchron is a prime target for a Goki the Master Ogre negate. Goki the Master Ogre na kuka hatudo. Return the right Scorpio, negate the Synchron. And yeah, dude, Goku's going first against Synchrons. They are the counter. I forget, musical deal can be fire. Had it beautiful for a couple years now. Oh my god, dude, no. Some of these new tracks are fire. Have you heard Shay's new theme that's coming out? It, it sounds insane. 50-50 MST, he's gonna hit an MST of his own. CGO Skull still gonna have to swing into a mystery back over here. Super's gonna summon out the Rise Scorpio. This is lethal on board, unless Jay has a busted back row here. And even so, Master Olga will be able to negate it. Dude, Synchron are so sorry. Yeah, man, they are reliant, totally reliant on Junk Synchron. They have the Junk Converter spawning in the duel, spawning in the at the beginning of the duel, so your opponent can freely alter their strategy. If they go first, turn one to just remove that completely. They have free, full free versatility to just wreck your strategy before it even begins. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not liking Synchron right now. It's definitely fallen out of the the road deck spear and oh my gosh finishing move let's end this boom Mastauga CGO Skull gonna be moving on congrats apparently shouldn't also have D draw that would be sick dude Shun Kurosaki is one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh characters I think he, he's definitely in my top 10. I don't know about my top 5, but he's definitely in my top 10. Actually, should might be in my top five for favorite characters. All right, let's see what these guys are playing. If it's not exciting, we'll leave. Let's see. Ooh, playmaker theme. Let's go. Oh, it's Cybus! Wait, what? That was Mecha Phantom Beast Ulion? Uh, Ulion? Are we playing Master Duel, dude? Oh, the theme's over now, bro. Tiko Dotoka! Deco Talker is here. Mecha Phantom Beast Online going to be getting that token. Micro Quarter going to search the Cyber Spell Trap. Going to get the Cross Wipe. Skull Hatcho Code Talker alive. Link Yon. 
I don't want heal. Ling Shukan. Fire Water Dragon. Oh my gosh. Turn one firewall. Let's go. Reek Odin alive as well. Co linked with the Encode Talker. Ibli gonna bounce that Ibli back, baby. Bounce that Ibli back for the Purple Nightfall. Actually going to summon because Poro has three cards in one column. Now Blue Sky going to summon as well to Brock off because he still has three cards in one column. However, the Blue Sky effect will not resolve. They get rid of two of the cards and the Blue Sky fizzles. The Red Moon gonna remove Firewall Dragon. However, the Reek Odin alive will bring back the Deep O Talker. Poro loses a lot there. Book Moon gonna hit their Dot Scaper, but the Monster Reborn gonna bring back Micro Coder. They could bring out another Firewall Dragon if they have their extra deck, but they do not. What does that mean? No double firewall dragon. Link Ichi. Nightmare Mermaid coming out. Kara is getting to rebuild their board. Purple Nightfall going to banish itself to search the blue sky. They're going to get at least two. No, they're going to get one search here because Poro only controls one of these monsters. Link Uni. Make Night of the Morning Star is here. Morning Star is going to pitch off the Indigo to search the Legacy Secret. Now Poro is in trouble. The, the Columns are about to fill up with Mech Knights. They just lost their Deco Talker. Poro is losing all of their ground. They're in top deck mode. Their board is wiped. Mech Knights have taken control. Top deck Link Slayer. That's not enough. Yellow Star added to the hand. And Mech Knights successfully outmaneuver Poro. Oh man, that was. That was unfortunate, man. That was unfortunate. The Ibli. Bouncing the Ibli was not the play, man. That was not the play. Alright, so Kara is going to take that with Mech Knights. Watch Neg1. Neg1 is playing Spice. Really. Let's find him on the bracket. Negative one, got him. <laughs> Dude, you know what? I was reading the comments today. And someone was like, selection box and free to play should not be in the same sentence. And I was like, I don't know, man. You can spend 7,000 gems on the selection box now, man. I don't know. Konami has given the free to play players some government assistance. And the free to play players are angry, bro. They're like, no. They shouldn't expect me to buy the selection box just because they give me no more packs. No, I will not buy the selection box. It is not free to play. It is a scam. No. Dude, negative one is not playing freaking Spice, dude. He is playing freaking Mech Knights. What is he playing? My monster cards, Mech Knights? I did get two Book of Moon with free to play gems when they were at 13 packs. Yeah, man, I think you have to take that chance if you're free to play. Like, like I, I don't know. I, I guess it's important to understand when there is a once a year opportunity coming to you right now. I remember when Meg Neg One played cool decks. Dude, Neg One is a winner, dude. Neg One is a winner. Nothing more, nothing less, alright? He wants to win. Boo. 
Brute Enforcer and D-Heroes. Interesting. Brute Enforcer, of course, just going to force the Nightfall effect. Ice Dragon seems bait for me. A limit three on the archetype you play and your investment for that falls short. Yeah, it does. That's why I'm not going to go for three. I'm going to stop at uh, two. And then that's it because, I don't know, I think there, there are other decks that, you know, they are not, they don't have limit threes. And I will just always play Ice Dragon's Prison in there. If Shin does have D Drug, I'll finally not play Yami Yuga anymore. Yeah, that, that, that would be nice. And I would love to play um, Shun for uh, Destiny Draw and not Yami Yuga. Like, uh, dude, if I could play, like, Shun is one of my favorite characters, dude. If I could actually play him for Destiny Draw, that would be so good. However, I am a little bit worried about Shun, though. Like, I'm worried that, like, uh,. I don't know. I'm worried it's going to take a while for Raid Raptors to be good. <laughs> Trap Trick and DL Wen. Look, Trap Trick is another... Oh, Trap Trick. Oh, no, that trap. Oh, my God, dude. No, I don't think they want Trap Trick in the game. Galaxy has Full Armor Photon Dragon. Okay. Pop the... Wait, but it had four... It had four tote materials, right? It had four counters on it. I guess not. Never mind. Cypher Blade. Yeah, this is easy peasy food for Mech Knights, dude. Alright. Note taken. Avoid negative one on the for the rest of the tournament. If anyone is in the chat and they are playing Spice, you can let me know and I will head over to your match. But other than that, I have no way of knowing. Let's see what these guys got going on. Whoa, was that Chaz? Oh, god damn it, it's Goki, dude. Oh, it's Light Point Boost. Chaz Princeton, dude. It's been a minute. The last person I've seen play Chaz was Nova Mortis the Goat, bro. Yo, PDS, what up, bro? How you doing? I thought I was about to see some dark arm dojamas, bro. That's what Nova Mortis said, bro. Nova Mortis said he's cooking up in the lab. He's cooking up the dark arm dragon ojamas. Yo, what up, Grand Harrier? How you doing? Sunda Oga is here. Head back. Gonna get that search. Huh? 
Using Twist Cobra? I don't know, bro. I don't know about that one, brother. I'm gonna negate the Suprex. Nice. No Link 2. Oh, but the Head Bat is gonna say otherwise. Refresh will actually get their Link 2. The Jet Uga out. Let's go. Now, what else is Rick out to stop this? They've got two back row. However, their Mesta Uga effect is gone this turn. Rematch, refresh. Oh my gosh, it's. Oh my, I just realized it's Goki Mirror Match. Let's go! And this is where they really wanted to use that effect negate, but they're not gonna get it off. This is what I'm saying, bro. You have to negate Thunder Ogre. If you negate Thunder Ogre, their strategy falls apart. But negate them too early, they'll find another way to extend. And now refresh is about to run it down. On BDG Drake, Sig 4,000. Good thing they had life point boost out for three effects. Gonna give refresh 10,000 life points. What the heck? The finishing move turned to Goki's using three effects. That is absolutely busted. Gained 6,800 life points. G Drake's gonna have to build their board back up to back row. None of, them, none of them can stop the attack. I know the Master Ogre's got the negate effect, but damn, two back row, you can't do nothing. Great Ogre. Great Ogre lowers all monsters' attacks. De uh, attack by the defense, but Loki's have got no defense. Master Ogre gonna send them back to the gate, but it will go down. Wow, not capable of boosting attack over Master Ogre. I mean, over Great Ogre. Ooh. Oh, Twist Cobra combo. MST gonna destroy the one back row. This is before damage step Twist Cobra. Gonna be activating in that damage step for sure. Does G Drake not have anything to stop here? Oh my gosh, there isn't was Cobra combo. This will leave Drake on 200 life points. Boom. He will search nothing. They're in top deck mode. But refresh. They've got no defenses, just life points. Is Master once per turn? Yes, this is a once per turn effect. G Drake top deck's back row. Oh, well, they've got us a Suprex in the hand. Do they crash it? No. Ten thousand, dude. I don't know, man. Going second to Gokis, that's that's pretty fire, man. <laughs> Oh man, this is just too, this is just Suprex beatdown, bro. Expendable die. Okay, let's go. Tribute your Suprex. Destroy the Suprex and then lose by the other attack. Suprex gonna search. Hedubeto. Nice. Hey, Drake with the comeback. Refresh for another turn is locked into the battle phase. What? Why did he scoop? I don't know. You could have run to come back on that one. I don't know, bro. What is it? Just time? Did he lose the time? Dude, refresh. That is so dirty, by the way. Refresh, dude. Holy crap. 10,000 life points. All you have to do at that point is just not lose, and you'll win by time. Holy crap. 10,000 life points. All right, congrats, refresh. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Moving on. We're in 
top 16. This LP reminds me of Dark Lord Life One Stall. To go, God, dude, don't remind me. It's actually so terrible. Like that, that was just like a thing. For many, many months. That was a thing for a very long time, dude. Thankfully, the game doesn't really get like that anymore. Like, even Solomon Great being tier zero was like... It, it was just because of the way that, that cards had released at that time of the year. Like, I think that, you know, just because of the power of the cards, that, that's not why that had happened. Oh man, is this going to be Salomon Great versus Goki? I think it will be. Whoa. Foxy! Gonna get the foul here, very nice. But Fear, they're going to set up defensive this turn, I wonder why. Circle as well in the hand, this is a busted starting hand. Foxy Circle, what else did they open with? Well, they have full combo this turn. With the Foul and the Gazelle. Oh, and the Falco. Oh my gosh, this is a God Hand. Linkuni, son, Nightorufa. Nothing to interrupt the ten sighting Shokun. All right, let's see what Fear has got in the back row to stop this. Ooh, okay, swing into the head, bad Jack Jaguar. Do deal that piercing damage, though. Octo Stretch Search lets them survive. Fear had no other way to survive that turn. MST gonna remove that back row that they know is not. The Circle Suprex will summon the Twist Cobra. What the heck? That was a needle ceiling. That would have been massive. That would have crushed their entire strategy. Link D. Goki. Jet to Olga. They sacrificed Goki Suprex Twist Cobra Cabo for the Link Summon. They should be able to get it off. No problem, though. The Link Summon chain is gonna come in. Jet Ogre. It's gonna come out. Rice Scorpio in the rematch. Gonna be searched off the Twist Cobra effect. Headbat. And was Cobra going to be special summoned back to the field? All right, man. Fear. This is their comeback. Three effects. If they get the finishing move, they can do exactly what Refresh did. Gain 7,000 life points. Right, Sunlight Wolf is going to get the Gazelle back, but I'm pretty sure that was inevitable. Okay. Link Sun. Arrowhead Kakuni. Link Shokan. Arawareo. Koki. Sanda Oga. Sanda Oga no Koga. How'd you know? He's going to get the extra normal summit. Head bat effect and activate. Mm -hmm. Search the suprex to the hand. Now the extra normal summon from Thunder Ogre is going to come through. Summon the suprex. Suprex does have another monster from the hand to summon. I believe it's the Rice Scorpio. There it is. Rice Scorpio. Full field of Gokis. They've got Master Ogre and then some. Link Yo! Arrowhead Kakuni! Link Shokan! Arrowareyo! Goki! The Master Ogre! 
Now, Red Scorpio, if I could go off searching once again, Master Ogre going to negate the trap card here if he so wishes. Boom. So now Sunlight Wolf is unaffected by effects except its own. I don't know why you would activate that. Well, Bailing here is going to prevent the destruction once. However, finishing move. Master Ogre intends to end this duel in one attack. 5,000 damage coming in here. Three effects. Gain 6,800 and going... S oh, man. They are able to do this going turn three. I think this is... The best possible Goki play that you can make swinging in on the Jack Jaguar to ensure that there's no way this damage can be stopped. Sanctuary will activate. Ooh, wait. Sanctuary will actually pop off here, no? Wow, but... Okay, so just making sure that... Wow, by 200. If he had any more life points, he maybe would have survived that, but... 5,000 damage to 4,800 life points. They do not survive. And Fear is going to take that with Goki. Man, I don't know. I feel like Goki is better than Solomon Gray. I think, I think Goki's tier 2, dude. I think Goki's tier 2. Oh, man, the top eight matches are about to begin. Ooh, we got Dr. Dinosaurio, bro, in top eight with Gimmick Pop. It's, they already won! They won! Oh, my gosh. I want to see the replay. I want to see the replay. What happened in this duel? I gotta see it. Let's see it. Alright. It's Goki versus Giving Puppets? Okay, this is good. We get to see how how uh, Dr. Dinosaurio is gonna deal with Gokis, because he's likely gonna face, face him in the finals, if not Mech Knights. Oh no, it's Mech Knights. Oh no, it's Code Talker. Alright, it's Code Talker. I remember when people didn't think Master Ogre was going to be that impactful. Yeah, it's Master Ogre and Expendable Die as well. Both of these cards are just like insane for the deck. All right, Deco Talker, the Micro Coder, going to search Cyanet Mining. Skill Hot Show, Code Talker alive. Going to get them that card in the back row. They will be going for... Who was Code Talker? Mech Knights. Fire Ward, Dragon! Firewall is here. Do they have a co-link? There is no co-link! How do you summon Firewall without a co-link, brother? Okay, we coded alive during the main phase. That's sketchy, dude. I don't know. I I, I, I guess I just got caught off guard because he did do it during his turn. But yeah, we coded alive there. You cannot get Dr. Dino off of Gimmick Puppets, bro. He is OD. Now, that is facts, bro. Here they are again in top eight. I'm pretty sure every battle phase they've entered, they've been in the top in some sense. And now they're going to be in top four because they do win this match. Give me Puppet Giant Grinder. Oh, my gosh. Giant Grind it up. Giant Grind it up. Oh, my gosh. Get your dong shit Link Monsters off of my board. This is Xyz Monster Meta, baby. Reek Odin Live. going to bring back the Deco Talker. KC Barber will win this. Well, excuse me. They will live this turn. What happened to Gigi Toro, little Trap Dexter? Yo, what up, Trap Dexter? How are you doing? But, um... Gigi Toro, I think they're going through, like, a restructuring right now. So, I think they're working on, like, 
figuring out how they're going to be working with like uh communities in the future but they should be paying everyone pretty soon but yeah that's not on our end so that's all i really know no i don't want extra dog shit your sr tickets who are you supposed to be in the thumbnail it's supposed to be a uh, kite tenjo the number hunter Uh, this person yet. I don't think we watched Carrot either. I think uh, there was something going on when we were, we were gonna watch them. Yeah, who did that for me? I think Gian. Was it Gian or UPDS who made the little eye thing? I'm pretty sure it was. Was it Gian? Yeah. You need to be a gem, bro. Only one away. Bro, did you not just see the new YouTube video retro? You should watch the new YouTube videos to see why I'm at 108 gems. Saijutsu, not a great start with the Goki, clearly did not open much of anything, but Mech Knights are getting started off to a momentous start. Uh, what's your duelist wish list in terms of updates and new cards? Um, I want Rockets to be very playable. I don't want them to release any bad decks this year. The character list that they've got for upcoming characters is... Ghost Girl, Akira Zizen, and Spectre. And that's going to bring Ultra Guys, Tindangles, and Sanavalon, respectively. And I think that those are all really cool decks, especially the Sanavalon. It's a deck I wanted to play in Master Duel, but I didn't really get into it. So when it comes to Duel Links, I'm going to be pretty interested in it. Hopefully, it's not super expensive. But uh, there's that. What's up, everyone? New player around. Which character to up for playing the vampire stuff uh i actually don't know what's the best guy to uh, character to play vampires on all right let's check out this vampire deck post thomas post thomas army so it looks like bonds you want to play bonds The DM character Bonds. You want to play him because he has a busted skill. You can use your skill ticket on Post Office Army if you really want to play vampires, though. That would be crazy, but you can't do it. Yeah, post Thomas Army or Zombie World, but yeah, um, I don't know if you actually play Zombie World in the deck. Yeah, it looks like post Thomas Army is the way. And then it looks like it's a rank 6 spam deck with Cerberus and Vampire Sucker. Anyone use a Gist back? I don't believe I have seen a selection box card... Uh, be played yet today guys right we haven't seen we haven't seen ice dragons prison we haven't seen cerberus we haven't seen anything from the selection box today yet and there's another bust in three effects safe fabri oh man oh man great ogre gonna stop lowering everyone's attack and i think that mech knights are taking this yep that's that. They actually dealt 9,000 damage, dude. Holy crap, that was a lot of damage. 
So Kara's gonna win and Mech Knights will move on to the top four. Ooh, top four is ready, man. Dr. Dinosaurio versus Carrot. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. There's still a top 16 match going, it seems like. I think it's another Goki mirror, to be honest. got no notification even with the bell notifications on really that's so weird man that's really weird i wonder how like how like you're even supposed to notify people of streams if with the bell they don't get notified Done with Twitch? No, we're not done with Twitch. I'm. I will be streaming on. I will be doing um, all of my streams on YouTube. So my two tournament streams every week, and then any gameplay uh, streams that I do, will all be on Twitch. And then Ryan's gonna be. I mean, excuse me. All of my stuff will be on YouTube, and then Ryan will be on Twitch. We're just doing it so that we can better populate both platforms with content. And yeah, so we can grow a lot faster this year. That's the goal. I know if you schedule the stream, you can click the bell for that specific stream. I see. So maybe maybe I'll have to do that. Let's try it. Let's try it. I'll schedule a stream for tomorrow. Schedule stream. the sub boob cart ritz i appreciate it you think mech knights are more or less successful with ibli switch uh yeah we, we haven't seen them use surprise present today and they're still like fucking people up so i i don't think that surprise present makes mech knights like dead them but you know that skill will not will no longer be used for sure Everything else, though, I think that's fine. I mean, I, th I think the deck will... is still the best deck in Duel Links right now, for sure. That works. I, I, so I scheduled. So I scheduled the stream tomorrow. So see if you guys can go and. Uh, oh, tomorrow's Friday the thirteenth. Oh my gosh! I hope nothing wrong goes wrong. Damn, my birthday is this month too, and Friday the thirteenth is this month. All right. Dr. Dinosaurio top four gimmick puppets versus mech Knights. Dr. Dinosaurio week after week has been smashing it with this deck. 
this time they're in a prime position to take it home. However, Carrot and their Mech Knights are standing between them in victory. Chimera Puppet, followed by the Biss Doll. Jury Doll going to bring itself out by banishing the, the Error Baby. XZ Shokan, give him up at his strings. Now, does Dr. Dinosaurio have the Barrage Blast in the back row? We've seen in previous duels in previous weeks just how much value that they can uh, create off of the Barrage Blast Continuous Trap card activating. Ibly going to be summoned for Kara immediately going to be Book of Mooned by Dr. Dinosaurio. They don't want them to start their combo for free. And uh, they have very good reason to stop that. Nothing really else to look for in Book of Moon. Dr. Dinosaurio, they've got their monsters spread out. None of them in the same column. And Carrot, the only other cards that he has with double columns, he's clogged up and can't summon the monsters. So Dr. Dinosaurio in a very good position to gain tempo in the next turn while Carrot cannot. And yeah, there goes back row, but let's see. Some other Mech Knights could come out. Let's see what they've got. Yes, there it is, the Special Summon of the Yellow Star. Yellow Star just needs two cards in the same column to Special Summon itself. Boom, and it will swing over the Chimera Doll. Not a huge deal. But they did have to get rid of that so they don't get the free searches again here. Give up at a string. He's going to put a counter on all these guys. They're going to be going away at the end phase. The next end phase, excuse me. Bisque Doll gonna banish so that Gibbon Puppet monsters cannot be targeted. However, the Compulse gonna activate before it can resolve, bouncing the Gibbon over the strings back to the extra deck. That sucks. However, Terror Baby now gonna come through and bring back the Jury Doll. This does open them up quite a bit. Destroy is here and has its effect. Camp up all. <laughs> Exe Shokan. Ring 4, giving puppets Gigantis Doll. Now, Carrot does not have two monsters, but they do have one, dude. They do have one, and Dr. Dinosaurio has one level 8 monster, so that's all they need to take. The question is, do you want to Gigantis Doll so soon? This is a big effect that you're only going to get to activate once here, and they do Gigantis Doll. They're going to take the... Face down monster and the yellow star. Well, the face down monster is the Ibli. Let me not forget. I'm gonna flip up the Ibli, tribute the Gigantis Doll, make them all level eight. Can't special summon except Link, right? Uh, yes. Oh, did he not know? Oh, wow. <gasps> Dr. Dinosaurio got cucked there. He didn't know. Well, I didn't know either. I didn't even think about that, dude. Jeez, I mean, honestly, that was greed. That was greed because they already had the ability to to Xyz summon, and they decided to try to get rid of the Ibli as well. That was a greed. And it looks like they only play one of those given puppet guys. Hmm. didn't know he really didn't know and now dr dinosaurio might actually lose because of that
This is so unfortunate, dude. Can you make a video about the biggest changes in 2023? Nothing has really happened yet in Duel Links. Nothing's really happened in Duel Links for 2023. Oh, this is so unfortunate, man. That is so unfortunate, dude. And Kara is gonna knock out Dr. Dinosaurio in the top four. Dr. Dinosaurio did not know, did not realize, maybe they forgot that Ibli locks them to Link Summoning. But honestly, they did get greedy. It was a misplay to even flip up Ibli in the first place because they already had the Xyz materials with the Yellow Star becoming level eight, so. Unfortunate. So what's how's the other side of the bracket doing? Dr. Dinosaurio though, thank you for playing, man. Thank you for always coming through with the spice. like oh my god there's a top 16 match still going on no way whoa looks like they had looks like there was a scoring issue Actually, a top 16 match still going on. How? They've got to be. They've got to be done, right? They started playing the duel nine minutes ago. Jesus Christ! Delete the vod. Why? Why would I delete the vod? Because man's messed up. Any salads? Yeah, we watched some salads. I don't know. Unless one of these guys on the other side of the bracket are playing salads, then we're not going to see any more. Blow my nose really quick.
Ah, all right, we're back. Men's Chipotle reach? Nah, I dead ass just ordered Chipotle though. Honestly, it might come before the end of the tournament. Shit, at this rate, I didn't know we were still gonna have a top 16 match going. Okay, moving on to top eight, Kobayashi wins. Let's keep it pushing, keep it pushing. Waiting for the next room. Your cam is still off. Yeah, I know. What's that summoning method based off Pokemon? Um, there was a summoning method based off Pokemon. What is it? What's it called? There's a. Which one is is that? Bear, what's up, man? How are you doing? Thanks for coming through to YouTube, man. I appreciate it. It's called Normal Summon. God damn you, you motherfucker. Ooh, cam not focused. You think Gokis and Musketeer will be dominant in Cup February? I think Gokis will definitely be dominant because right now in Duel Links, there are several very good ways to get Goki. It's probably one of the most um, versatile decks in terms of different ways that you have to build it. You could either go into... If you're free to play, oh man, Goki's probably the best... It's probably the best deck that you can build right now um, because you can go in this, you can try your luck at the selection box super mini, right? Spend a thousand gems and then you can buy the half price box and then you can get the rest of the deck. And then you could go into this box, future circuit and get expendable die in dark hole. And dude, you've almost got yourself a complete Goki deck at that point. What do you need? You just need like um, staple spells and traps. And, you know, look, you haven't even used your dream ticket yet. So you're good, dude. You haven't used your dream ticket yet. You're going to have 7-7 seven, seven Blade Dallas. You're going to have two dream tickets. And all, all you really need is you're going to have, like, 20 free packs. So hopefully you get Warning Point off your Future Circuit free packs. And then you just use your dream tickets on MST. So I'm pretty sure that's what my new player video is going to be, right? Telling people to play Gokis. Should I do it, guys? Should I tell people to play Goki for their new player video? Because realistically, what else are you going to get if you're a new player, right? Right now, you could get Mech Knights, right? You could get Mech Knights. But I mean, well now we're now they're no longer gonna play the surprise present, so it's hard to say. Mech Knights are too expensive, I think, just because of how many different boxes you have to go through. You have to go through River Victory three times, 
you have to get go through Heart of Xyz. You got to get Galaxy Cipher. You know, I think it's too much. I think you you just I think Goki is is better because you get mostly everything, right? You can get everything pretty quickly as a new player. Make sure one box, but you need Galaxy Packets. Yes, you need the extra deck. I mean, you don't need the extra deck, but like, you know, I mean, the strategy is good by itself. However, the extra deck is like just, it just wins you more duels that, you, that, that you know, the, the regular strategy would lose you. But what's the best way to counter Goki's going second in Mirror Match? If you're going second in the Mirror Match as Goki, um... Dude, you know what would be good? Freaking Dark Core, dude. But the thing is with Dark Core, right? You have to discard so you don't get the Goki. You don't get the Goki effects. So that's unfortunate. Karma Cut is good, but of course, still you have to discard. You don't get the Goki effect. Dark Hole? I'd say Dark Hole. Dark Hole is really good in the mirror match. Gokis have no protection like that. They'd have to use... That would force their Thunder Ogre negate. I mean, not the Thunder Ogre, the Master Ogre negate. Wow, kids' life points are going to be safe just like that. Gokis you can get even with gem sale. That's what I'm saying. I'm, that's what I'm going to recommend to players. So this weekend... I got a lot of videos to grind out, bottomless! Mm -hmm. The bottomless gonna come through. Now wait a second, two monsters were special summoned here. Uh, destroy that monsters. So it will destroy both. But now Compulse is activating on the purple nightfall to make its effect fizzle. But that's not how that works. He literally just saved him. Uh, okay. Okay, Kobayashi. I don't. Was that that was that the play? I mean, now they can't summon the Red Moon, right? Let's see. No, two more cards in the same column. It's there. Banish a mech knight, they have no mech knights in their grave. <laughs> Dark core discard could make for another search of rematch link, yeah. Dragon Prison, yeah, Dragon Ice Dragon Prison also very good, right? <laughs> Two back row from Kid after protect his life points stock ties the bind. Ties the bind mech knights. I mean I guess it's the way, dude, right? <laughs> When your overpowered skill gets nerfed, just play Ties the Barn. <laughs> Alright, Kobayashi going in on kids' life points now. World Legacy Secret, we're gonna special summon from the grave, the Red Moon back. Wow, so kid, kid survive again. One more turn at least. 
I have four UR and three SR dreams stacked up. Yeah, I have a lot stacked up as well. I don't really know what to use them on. I have like most of the old cards that I think I want. I have to go look through it and see. Okay. Book a moon, nightfall. We'll tag out. We'll dodge it. Can come out. Do the flash from Chef for a while. To watch later. Do you delete them? I'm pretty sure they're just there forever. I mean, I can go to the daily channel on my phone, and I can pretty sure I can see our first live stream. Yeah, I mean, you can just see all of them there. Yeah. Tazibine. Whoa, kid has the has the big, the big bungus, McKnight Field. Dueling says better than Master Duel? Question mark. Uh, it depends on your preference. To be honest, I mean, it depends on what you prefer. Duelist is way more expensive, so it is like... It's less accessible, but, you know, it is a gacha game, so a lot of people like playing the the gacha element, right? They like grinding the resources, they like metagaming and stuff like that. Some people like to play free-to-play, some people don't mind, they want to spend money, and they just want to play the decks that they want to play. So... But Master Duel is different. It's a little more accommodating, and it has a lot of the systems that people covet in Duel Links because, you know, they knew those systems would be good to put in the game. And these guys are just, like, inches off defeat each turn, but Kobayashi finally getting taken down to 300 decides not to World Legacy memory before the attack. I think there's their monster would not survive and they'd rather have a monster going into their next turn instead of the life points. Dolmus is more fun and a lot more effort goes into it, but MD is much easier to keep up with. Yes. I agree. I think that I have fun on Duelings when I come back during periods like Anniversary and New Worlds and like KCGT. But in Master Duel, I only feel like I have fun when a deck that I play gets new support or I've been saving up gems for like six months to play a, a new deck that I want that's coming out that I want to play. Because if a new deck that is meta is coming out, I'm not going to be excited about it unless it's something that I am looking forward to play. The thing about Duel Links is that there are more opportunities for the average duelist to get excited about new things that come out because they're going to be tied to the anime or popular TCT archetypes that are already out. For Master Duel, there's only one type of person who really gets excited about the stuff that's going to come out, and those are the TCG degenerates who, you know, keep up to date with the game. And uh, I don't think that's the mass amount of players who are looking forward to the new decks that already come out and they already play them and they're their favorite deck in the TCG. So they're excited about them coming to the game. I don't know. I think most people, when they see a deck of Master Duel, they just wait in the scene until it's meta and then they build it. Just like they would do that in the TCG as well. All right, now it's Kobayashi's turn to swing back, and they're going to be getting a board wipe on Kid. I mean, watch just made the cop fun. I mean, yeah, dude, watch, of course you can do it. Yeah. Diamond 1 in Master Duel? I don't know, dude. Diamond 1 Master Duel might be a little bit harder.
Yeah, I mean, dude, not much going on here. I mean, Mech Knight's just Mech Knighting. Duelings also tends to have more deck brewing because we're not getting already solved metas. That said, some, sometimes the decks do build themselves sometimes. I mean, yeah, when we had that uh, meta where it was like, you know, insert whatever your your uh, 10 card engine is and then insert three Book of Moon, three MST, and two um, Treacherous Trap Hole, right? There was that period of the game as well. Three-year three starter, three-year extender, three-year boss monster, or, or like two-year boss monster, and then three Book of Moon, three MST, two TTH, and there's your tier one deck. I mean, yeah, that, that happened as well. But now, I think that's why the Limit 3 list is getting utilized a lot more now, because they don't want uh, that to be the case. But I think that, you know, they are doing a good job in not making that the case. The only card that I would say is kind of doing that right now is kind of like MST. MST is kind of like universal right now, as it should be. I think it's in duelings for a reason. It's the most basic form of back row removal, so I think it should remain, you know untainted by the limited list and you can play three of it in your deck and then the other cards you know like you know the the really weird stuff like you know floodgate and crackdown and stuff the rest when everyone said neos was trash when it came out oh yeah man i remember when, when neos fusion came out i remember when neos fusion came out man everyone was playing it with uh i was playing it with sazank Carl Curry Sazank, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Somewhere, right? There is a it's there's a clip, but it, I'm pretty sure it's lost to time. It's completely lost forever. But it was the release of Neos Fusion Structure Deck, Brave Neos, and I was in a VC with some people. I think from Pharaoh's Discord or something, and I was playing Neos Neos Fusion. And I was playing three Sazank, and Sazank was the mo monster I was using for the fusion. And I was using something else to search warriors to search the Sazank. And I went, I matched Decade on the ladder, and I went up against Decade, and he swung into my Sazank three times. Like, oh my gosh. DK swung into my Sazank three times, got his Neo sent to the graveyard three times. He got his different Neos fusion summon sent to the graveyard three times. And he started raging on Steve. He was like, he was like, no! Don't play the deck like that. Like, this is not how you play the deck. This is how you're gonna play it? What? That's pathetic. Like he was playing the Neo Spatians and the Neo Spatian Fusions. Oh my god, I wish I could find that. Honestly, I might be able to find it. Uh, I don't know how old, like how long ago clips got purged, but if I check my clips created on its channel, then it might it might be there. Uh, so who 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 won that? Uh, I guess they've already updated. I'm pretty sure that clip is like lost forever, dude. Unfortunately, but I'm gonna I actually look for it. Uh, okay, Kobayashi versus Refresh. Check my my clips created. Duel. 
so it would be in the video dashboard. Refresh, go in first. Wow, I've got some old clips on here. channel? Dude, that's crazy. And not one? That's crazy. I have no... So... Damn. Where would that clip be? It, it would have to be, like, in the deep recesses of... No, it's... It wouldn't even be there. When did Neo's Fusion come out? It had to be 2019, right? I don't think it came out in 2018. Or did it? It was a part of that whole Kawaki Miru thing. Oh no, that was 2019 by then, yeah. It might be in the DLE Discord, I don't know. Maybe someone sent it to me or something? Okay. Kobayashi now has to respond to Master Ogre with a back row. Master Ogre does have the head bat to tribute for and negate. Kobayashi's just got the Link Disciple right now. Yeah, so Refresh has to be... It's hard to be careful with your column placement. Kobayashi does find a way to get Purple Nightfall out, and now Blue Sky threatening to surge two cards here. Does Master Ogre negate this here? I mean, Morningstar will still come out if Master Ogre negates. This is a plus two for Kobayashi right here. This is going to be big. They are going to add Indigo Eclipse and the Red Moon. Oh yeah, I'm thinking Red Moon is the... Red Moon is the threat that Refresh, Refresh is waiting to, to get rid of. Final still best of one, yes. You think cards like Kuja could become relevant? I don't even know what Kuja is. Is that former Pharaoh's member Cabelli? Yes. Bro, I just realized a lot of these Twitch clips, I'm gonna see how many of them are still like actually here, because I know some of them you click them and it turns out they've actually been like deleted. Or like they no longer exist. 
Oh wow, do you see? Wow, some of these are on my channel. They exist. Oh my god. player run two or three twist cobra i think most run two but i have not seen enough of refresh's deck to uh tell you if he runs three tw twist cobra or not they haven't even seen one in their deck yet Why are you talking like you know his deck list, Gene? Why are you talking like you know? Oh, there's our first new! Whoa! There's our new first selection box card of the day! Blue Sky going to be summoned to refresh his field, and then they're going to be able to banish any second monster from the field that they want. Ice Dragon's Prison. Let's go. The first activation of the day. Let's go. Refresh is not fucking around. He went into that selection box. He came to win, baby. And they're going to get rid of the the, uh, the blue sky and the purple nightfall. Let's go. Good job, Refresh. Ice Dragon's Prison. Let's go. Refresh flexing on him. Don't go for third. Yeah, I'm just going for the second Ice Dragon's Prison, and that's it. That's all I'm going for. Red double. And there's nothing to protect the Goki. No. And they likely only play one Master Ogre, bro. Refresh will live because of their life point skill and. Yeah, because of their life point skill, but. Next turn, they're going to have to make it all happen. They're going to have four cards in the hand. Kobayashi only has one back row. No other active effects. However, the Morning Star is in effect. If you're making that monster battle as a monster in a different column than it, your monster cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, you take no battle damage from that battle. So they will have to play the columns right here. And Suprex and Octo Stretch means they're going to have to be climbing the Link Chain again. Shokan, Goki, Jetoga, double Goki search here. <laughs> Twist Cobra and finishing move, nice, nice, exactly what you want to see, head the better. Great Ogre should be game if back row is dead. Oh yeah, that's Great Ogre. Goki, the Great Ogre. Monsters gonna be attacking to be lowered by their defense. Red Moon going down to zero. Great Ogre at 3100. The finishing move will put it to 6100. Fresh boom! OTK! 6,000. Nothing Mech Knights can do. Refresh is gonna take it and move on to the grand finals. Let's go. Let's see what we've got in the finals, dude. Oh, my headphones die? 
I think they did. Yep. Alright, so it'll be Carrot versus Refresh in the finals. Mech Knights versus Goki. So we'll actually get to see, you know, which one of these decks is better. These are actually, these are two really good players, two OGs, Carrot and Refresh both. Goki never drag it out. Never, bro. Never. Because they have... They, they get the follow-up. They get the resources. You know, most decks, other decks, they don't... They, you know, they don't have that opportunity to come back with three to four cards in their hand. You know, they don't get that chance to make the the Great Ogre, the, the Link 3 Link Climb again. Is final not best one? Final is best of one. But we had to go... a. Uh, 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 a pretty long ways because someone had was kind of like stalling the bracket so we had on one side of the bracket had reached the finals but the other side was in top 16 so we had to play like three three duels to get there but now we're here in the finals carrot versus refresh Grand Harriers tournament happened today. What what won it? Goki won it. Oh shit, Goki won. And then Rose Dragon got second? What? How the hell did Rose Dragon get second? That's preposterous. What decks been doing well? Goki and Mech Knights, man. Goki and Mech Knights. It's a Goki Mech Knight meta, baby. It's a Goki Mech Knight meta. Alright, here it is. Alright. Welcome to the grand finals of main phase Thursday. We've got Gokis being piloted by Refresh, and we've got Mech Knights being piloted by Carrot. Mech Knights, after their skill getting nerfed, they're adopting the skill ties that bind. And Refresh is rocking three effects on Playmaker. Three effects is going to allow you to boost your life points by 1,000 times the link rating of a link monster. However, Refresh starts this turn, turtling three set back row, one set monster. That does not bode too well. That means that they did not open, they only opened one Goki, and even then it was not a good one like Twist Cobra or Suprex. So Karen gonna get free reign to play here, at least so far. Blue Sky being summoned. Now Europe, now it says, if, how many cards or monsters? Yeah, cards in that column. So Kara is gonna go plus two here, searching an Avram and a Mech Knight Yellow Star. Avram summon next to the blue sky. Refresh. Three back row, but they do have to pick the correct time to interrupt Carrot. Carrot did just get a bunch of resources. The yellow star as well can come out from the hand as an extender. Link Lee. Mech Knight of the Morning Star is here. Morning Star. I'm going to pitch the purple nightfall surge to the legacy. I don't know. Things looking grim for refresh already. Yellow Star Nokuka. Banish the Avram. 
Destroy the back row. Gonna flip it up. Ice Dragon's Prison. Okay, very interesting. Refresh. Going to have this activation force upon him. Going to target the Purple Nightfall in the Graveyard. Summon it to their field. And then target one of Karis Monsters to be banished. I think they're gonna choose the Morning Star because Morning Star is. Ooh, they're, they're not. They're gonna choose the Yellow Nightfall. All right. I guess because they don't want its effect going off again, right? Yeah, this is what it's, this is what it's not once per turn. Oof. That would suck, dude. I guess, yeah, I did not even know that effect was not once per turn. We go Eclipse reaching the field now, so Carrot will still be able to pressure with Fresco's life points. They've got triple back row of their own to set. Skill has no ties to bind. Twist Cobra. Oof. That's a suplex search for sure. They're going to eat that damage. But Refresh needs a... Three effects pop off, but three back row from Carrot Man. The thing about Mech Knights, they don't have to hold back on the back row they play. MST from Refresh, running three, he has to hit something huge. World Legacy Memory is an okay hit, but not amazing. He needed to hit that Secrets. Because if you don't have the Secrets, then any monster effect like the Thunder Ogre or any of these really good effects that need to go off, like the Suprex, it can be negated with a flip up of the World Legacy Sequence and a moving of the Indigo Eclipse. And oh man, Refresh Top Decks back row and sets the Suprex. You hate to see it. Make that Indigo Eclipse going to move itself. I think I'll go over here. I think I like it over here. Purple Nightfall. Gonna come back straight into the battle phase, it seems. Set the top deck. Oh, yeah. Why not save the MST for secrets activation? Doesn't matter, Saz. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Refresh just does not have any more resources at all. They are totally exhausted. And the only way to say it is they bricked, man. Only opening one monster, Goki, and no longer survive off of opening one monster like they used to three back row is no longer good enough to stop a deck like mech knights especially when the back row that you're playing is double ice dragons prison oh no guys i don't know this might be proof for the case against ice dragons prison playing three of it because we just see refresh brick because they opened double ice dragons prison the second mst here being played by refresh go will make sure that the world legacy secrets does not resolve however refresh does not have any monsters left now ice dragons prison will resolve they're going to get a banish the purple nightfalls attack has ended so does carrot have anything left to attack they do Right, the Indigo Eclipse. Do they have anything to stop this Octo Stretch? Let's go. Octo Stretch from the Goki Search now refreshed is in final top deck mode. That's it. They have to draw a Dark Hole. Ray Scorpio. Whoa, that's massive. They can take out the Morning Star with that, but 50 life points is not enough, dude. They can't. They can't. They're gonna take 100 because of Indigo Eclipse, and he can move it. He's gonna move the Morning Star. Oh no, it's over, it's over. Oh, you hate to see it, guys. Oh my gosh. Carrot will win main phase Thursday, defeating Refresh, Refresh on Goki. Now guys, let's talk about Refresh's final game because obviously refresh had a great tournament run absolutely amazing however in this final duel they bricked really hard going first on goki usually a, an extremely good and easy setup the make you make the master ogre and you win 
They fumble the bag because their opening hand is double Ice Dragon's Prison, MST, and Twist Cobra. This is massive. Dude, double Ice Dragon's Prison. Now, while Ice Dragon's Prison is a really good back row, it is not extremely active against Mech Knights until they begin to, like, commit to, like, Xyz summoning and, like, tributing their own stuff and, like, sending stuff to the graveyard. You know, on their first turn, they don't necessarily play into that strategy too much, which is why we saw, um, which is why we saw Refresh not activated until it was being targeted for destruction. They wanted to save it for a more optimal position to where, you know, they were going to be in the battle phase and they couldn't really follow up anymore, but, you know, Carrot was not having it. So, Ice Dragon's Prison, it was forced to be activated during really inopportune times, and, ah, uh, man, just be just you know refresh not being able to make use of the cards in their hand and it's not their fault just because of the fact that their trap lineup had ice dragon's prison at two so guys let me know what you think about goki's in comparison to mech knights of the current meta and let me know what you think about uh what's this guy called dude freaking uh ice dragon's prison there we go. Have a nice day, guys. I'll see you later. All right, that is the YouTube video. And congrats to Carrot for winning main phase, dude. All right, an unfortunate brick, but good duels, good duels. We had some, we saw some pretty good runs today. We saw a really good. Um, Gimmick Puppet run as well as a lot of good Gokies. Ben, ben, ben. 108 Gems, ew. Bro, I just spent all my... Watch the YouTube channel, bro. Watch the YouTube channel. You'll see where all my gems went, bro. Relax, you'll see where all my gems went. But right now, I need to level up characters. I was leveling up Esperoba. Can you show the finalist decks? You have to join the Discord for that. They will be in the Discord. They will be in the DLE Discord. I don't have commands set up yet, but in all of our video descriptions, including this one, there is a link for the Discord. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I think I'm going to wrap up the stream here so I can start planning the videos for next week. They are going to be bangers, dude. Really big new player videos and going to be good for returning players too. Or maybe if you're just like looking for something to, you know, retrain your focus on as you start playing the game again. You know, all of these are things I'm going to try to keep in mind for when I am making these videos. So yeah. Alright, so guys, peace out. Uh, enjoy your day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Main Phase Friday. The, di the link in the Discord for tomorrow's tournament will be posted shortly. So thank you all for playing, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you all for coming through to the YouTube stream. Once again, I will see you all tomorrow, same time, same place, 5 p.m. I'll see you there, guys. Peace out.